Alright, what is going on everybody? I go by the name of Cataclysm215 and I'm basically making this video for those beginner players who are maybe in acts like 1 through 4. Um, we have 7 tips and a bonus tip at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. Also, if you could, please do smash that like and subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated. Um, now, for the first tip, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of newer players end up making, myself included, when I first started playing this game, is they end up spending their units on what we call PHCs or premium hero crystals. That's actually a huge mistake because the game is going to end up giving you a lot of these, especially over the course of um, your like I said, Acts 1 through 3, and even going into Act 4, you can get these premium hero crystals in the arena. We're going to go over that a little bit later. Um, but the best thing you can actually do when you first start your account is actually use those units that you're going to be getting for your masteries. And that's going to lead into um, our second tip of the day. Two of the first masteries that you're going to want to unlock are parry you're going to want to put three mastery points in the parry that's going to every time you perform a wall time block it's going to stun your opponent this is one of the most valuable uh masteries in the game and the um other mastery that you're going to want to unlock is called dexterity now you're going to end up having to put at least one point in um in limber and then unlock the dexterity mastery now you only have to put one point in dexterity some people do run three i don't really recommend it i feel like one is more than enough it's going to make it so that you can actually evade the uh your the defender's attacks by swiping backwards okay so that is two the first two um tips that we're going to be going over now the third tip is to 100 percent explore acts one through three let's just go in there real quick and the reason is these give you a ton of units that you're going to end up using for more of your masteries um, because the game is going to end up giving you mastery points uh, whenever you level up or uh, it's like every 10 levels or something like that I forget exactly how how many it is but it's going to help you end up getting those mastery points and you can actually use those units to unlock the harder masteries because you are going to need units to unlock some of them okay um so the reason you're going to want to do acts one through three is to get those units and it's not that many um paths like let's just go into act one chap or yeah act one quest six it's only oh Click on the wrong thing there. That's okay. It's only two paths. Okay. Now in Act 3. Oops. I got the book out of there. Act 3. The final quest, I believe, is only four paths. Now these don't take up that much of your energy. And like I said, it gives you a ton of units that you could use for, um, you should want to use them on your mastery points, but you can use them on things like, um, uh, uh, revives, potions, things like that. You shouldn't really need to use them though yet. Okay. So let's go into here. Yep. It's only four paths. Okay. Now, uh, tip number four. You're also going to want to one hundred percent act four, and reason being is for every chapter that you one hundred percent in act four, it's going to give you <coughs> excuse me an additional mastery point. For each chapter that you end up 100%ing, um, those mastery points are actually very invaluable. 
Um, the only way you can get mastery points is by leveling up until you get to level 60 and by 100%ing Act 4. The other reason that you're going to want to 100% um, Act 4 is it's going to give you enough rank up materials to take your first 5 star champion to rank 4. Um, mainly the tier 2 alphas that you get right here. And once you get your first rank four or five star, you should easily be able to go into act five and become uncollected. Now the next um the next tip, tip number five, is going to be join an alliance. Even if you're not going to be super active in alliance quest and alliance war, um this is going to unlock all the alliance uh rewards. And also, it's going to um, unlock the glory store, which you can get valuable resources in by getting your uh, your glory your glory points right there. So, like I said, even if you're not going to be super active in your alliance or you're just in a in a casual alliance, it's still going to benefit you to join one as soon as you can. Now, tip number six is the arena, the dreaded, dreaded arena. We all love it at first because it gives us so many crystals and uh, <laughs> units and all that stuff. But by the time you've been playing this game for a little while, you're not going to want to do it as much anymore. But in the beginning, you're going to be able to play the, uh, the Summoner Trials arena. And this is where you're actually going to get those premium hero crystal shards pretty quickly as well as units battle chips gold um and this is where you're going to start building your roster because you're going to be able to pop those premium premium hero crystals more and more often without having to use your units to buy them and that's when you're going to get um three stars and four stars eventually and you your account is going to continue to grow now tip number seven is um Get involved in the community. Uh, try to join some line app groups, some Discord groups. Um, this community is really amazing. And there's a lot of people out there that will try to help you as much as possible. Also, if you don't have access to um, line app or you just don't want to, or Discord, and you just don't want to download uh, another app onto your phone, then just hop in like you, like you found my channel. Um, you can hop into some live streams. Uh, there's a lot of uh, Marvel Contest of Champions live streamers out there who would be more than willing to help you. You can jump into one of my streams and ask any questions you like. Um, and we'd be more than happy to help you. Because you have to remember, we've all been in the same position that you are in right now. Okay? Um, now, that's my top seven tips. Now, like I said before, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And the bonus tip is... After a little while, you're going to be ranking up champions based on um, recommendations from a lot of other players or YouTubers. You're going to look at tier lists. But don't forget that this game is just that. It is a game. If you find yourself really enjoying a champion and people are telling you, well, that champion is not that great. Or um, they're telling you, oh, you know, you're going to use, going to use that champion. But so far... If you really, really enjoy a champion, just go ahead and rank them up. Rank them up. Um, in the long run, you're going to thank yourself for doing it because, like I said before, it is just a game, guys. Um, sometimes I feel like, as a community, we do take this game a little bit too seriously, and we kind of tell people, oh, well, don't rank that champion up. He's trash, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you do have a little bit of extra resources and you find yourself falling in love with a champion that might not have the best utility or, uh, doesn't do the most damage, but you really enjoy their animations or it's maybe your favorite character from, um, the Marvel universe or from a Marvel movie or something like that, just go ahead and rank them up. Have some fun. This is a game, guys. This is a game. All right. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Um, we will be live streaming very soon. We're going to be doing some more Eternity of Pain. And uh, you guys can laugh at my pain, like always. All right. Um, I appreciate everybody for checking out the video. 
I love you all. I appreciate you all. I will see you on the next one. Peace.